Well, welcome to Papa Bear's Peppers and I'm Harold and today I want to bring you back a video that I made a, a couple years back on how I made these. So stay with me and I'll show you how I did it and how I put together the irrigation and everything. And remember like and subscribe hit that button down there let me know how I'm doing make sure that I'm doing what you guys want to see. First of all, yeah, this is the inside of my greenhouse and I'm putting it together right now, the irrigation. And uh, what we doing, let me see if I can. Is, well, what I've done so far is I've got uh, this PVC and, and I'm going to be adapting it. So on right here, I'm going to be putting on a little uh, timer. And then this here is going to be my heat sink thermal mass container so this is going to have all my water in it it's a 55 gallon drum and uh, this has already been a rain collector but in this case we're going to use it for thermal mass and I've got it on a stand that puts it level with all of these containers down here so without further ado so what I'm going to end up doing is I'll end up running a piece off the end here and then and then running it right into here so I'll have my timer right here right in this area and then I'm gonna adapt in and come right over into here now this comes out and this is standard schedule 40 PVC that I have here with the ends are the slip fittings for the irrigation tubing that I got here and what I've done is I'm putting in these little necks right here and then they're gonna go right into the fill tubes so that this 55 gallon drum is going to keep all of these topped off and I've modified from what you seen me building the other day I've cut these down a lot lower so that when I run my tube I'm going to be running my tube just along like this right along the edge so what I'm going to end up doing is dropping in one of these little 8 inch fill, fill lines right here in each one of these fill tubes I'll come down this way and I'm gonna drop one into here and then I'll come down to these fill tubes and I'll drop one in drop one in and then I'll zip tie it down to the end here and the same with all of these and my thinking is that I'm going to be able to get enough heat generated through that to my uh, barrel that it'll warm up in here because right now I can tell you right now it's warm and uh, I've got a couple peppers in here messing around. Uh, that's my chocolate champion down there. And I got a volunteer tomato. I said, what the heck, I'm going to put it in here. Yeah, so, and then what I've got left here is I'm going to put medium in there. And I'm going to run a cloth uh, wick out of my wick basket and into the soil. So to make sure that that water is getting up and out of there. And so the timer's going to be set for every two days and then I'll watch it a couple times and see if it starts to overfill from the uh, overflow holes down right down here and if it is well then I'll just tune it back where uh, however it's needed but you know I'm going to initially wet the soil when I put it in here and uh, yeah I've got a pot of the same garden soil that I got in here I'm going to put in there and I've got a pile. So I'm going to mix that with some uh, perlite and because I found that soil to be really good. Yeah, I got a couple growing out here, a couple of little fellows out here and then there's my raised beds over there. Those are irrigated in but we've got good rain so yeah my tomato bed, my pepper bed and back there are all my greens. But yeah I'll put this, uh, once I get that wick up back in here again. Once I put that wick up through, I'm going to have that landscape cloth doubled over on the bottom. And that way I can just put my soil on and it's not going to bleed into my water tank down below. So, as you see here, it's going to be quite a setup. I'll back up a little bit here. Uh, you can see I've got four running over here, four running over here two here and I may I put enough on the end so I could actually run a third in the middle and then I of course I've got my area that I'm gonna do that waste basket and so what I may do in between these is run a little bit of hay or 
or something black. I might even just put some black uh, fabric down underneath my center part here so that all of this in here is covered with black and it'll just help with the thermal mass. But I've got this gravel bed that I had put in, uh, I don't know, maybe about a month and a half ago. And the whole purpose was because I wanted it for this green greenhouse. And you know, so outside here, I've heard people say it's gonna blow it away. Well, if it's gonna pick up a whole frame out of two by six and blow it away, I didn't see it happen on my last greenhouse. So I don't think it will on this one. But at any rate, I'm behind here. I've got some spacing back here too, behind them that I'm going to put some, uh, I don't know, if I get the hay, then I'll do that. If not, I'll just get some black foam or, or some, some rolled black and I'll put it back there to help absorb more heat. But as you can tell, all these are black and that's a good reason because I want to make sure that I have plenty of uh, absorption of the heat to keep a the soil warm which is in turn going to help the roots grow and and I'm really trying to do this for a winterization project and I'll be growing some other things I'm going to start out some peppers in here and I'll grow some greens in here but a lot of peppers to start and then as they gets colder in here I'll switch over to a lot of the greens and, and work that on so time I've got these these little uh, plugs into the, my, my line here and they just drop right into the fill tube and I'll just secure it against there like that so you know what when you got a 55 gallon drum well folks I hope you enjoyed that and this episode of Papa Bear's Peppers and remember like and subscribe hit that button down there let me know how I'm doing make sure that I'm doing what you guys want to see remember to keep growing and have a great day